Happy sunrise, happy sunrise. Um, you guys know what I just accidentally did on my Chromebook? Power washed it. I was trying to reset my password. <clears throat> and um, I ended up power washing my whole fucking Chromebook. <sighs> really? How is everyone today? I was in the shower, and I got this little, um, they're like, do a pick a card, but it's not going to be a pick a card, it's going to be pick a sim, or pick a item, right? Um, so one is going to be this. crystal with the chakras. This little dragon, which is belly button ring dragon. And then this in its rose quartz. You can't really tell it's pink. Anyway, it is. It's a rose quartz. So one two, the dragon, and three, the rose quartz. Um, let me write these down. And then we have the quartz chakra. Now, and I'll do my best to, in, in the comments, um, we're going to do it like this. We're going to use the Rider Weight Tarot. For the main theme or whatever. So how is everybody? All right. So we're gonna thank you. That's for one. We're not looking at them. That's for two. No, let's go through. Because there was a couple cards. It was the judgment. <laughs> we'll do that one. I don't know what it is. We'll set those aside. Then we'll grab the angel. Nope. We're not going to do that. Alright, so I'm just going to shuffle these for now. How was everybody today? So, big changes occurring, right? This handwritten deck, I was getting to put a card with the rider weight down. So we'll pick a card. No, nope. for each one of those. Let's see what we come. I have all these cords in my way. Pain in the neck. We'll do one. Many. I better not do it that way. Okay, we'll pick that one. Too many. And that one. All right. <clears throat> On the bottom of this, keep going. 
Okay, so for pile one, damn it, 510 is starting for pile one. So those of you that picked, we're going to ring the bell. Pile one, <clears throat> if you chose the quartz chakra pendant. Your card is the four of swords. And with that, five, 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 you got this is what you've been waiting for. Four of swords. So what I'm getting with this is like, what I heard immediately was dream state. So there's something you're sleeping on. There's something you're sleeping on. This is what you've been waiting for. What is it you're sleeping on? A dream perhaps, maybe. That's why they said the dream state, a dream you're wanting to bring into fruition. Thank you. So you got the lovers. You got the ten of fire. And you got the eight of water. So it's like... What I'm getting with the lovers, though... This is what you've been waiting for. I'm not getting a love reading on this. I'm getting, what I'm getting is it's your dream, what you're wanting to put into action, right? A desire to move on from 7-Eleven, where you're working now or what you're doing. A desire to move on to something more meaningful. And the Ten of Fire, all right, I'll show it to you, right? There's these plans you want to put into action. 726 could be significant. Um, too much work, except help from others. When I first saw this, I'm drinking Breathe Easy Tea. When I first saw this, it was like too much work. It's like needing to balance out what it is you're trying to create. I just got falling in love with the idea, finding a more peaceful, uh, more of, make it more fun way of doing something, 808. But the Ten of Fire is like, um, I heard asking someone to help with chores around the house. It's bringing things into balance. I just keep getting that. With that, I'm, it, I'm getting bringing things into balance. You're wanting to move on, but you don't know where to start. You're all up in your head. There's something you're not seeing. And and with, with that meditation or something about your dream state as well. Pay attention to your dreams. Write them down. Um, I saw 844, which is two eights, right? Write something down, divinely guided. As you're falling asleep, as you're falling asleep, um, think about what it is you're wanting to create in, or uh, asking for answers. Thank you. Yeah. As you're, as I was saying that, this card flew out 914 when I was born. Um, As you're going to sleep, asking for guidance or wanting an, an, an answer to something, okay? I got to do something with my hair. And um, this fell right on top of the Ten of Fire, okay? Your creativity, right? Making the necessary steps. And it could take time, right? It could take time. The key thing is you have the desire, you're falling in love with it, you're bringing it into balance. 
what can I do, what steps can I take, and as you fall asleep, right, I heard putting down some burdens, um, prioritizing, and then the power of creativity, recognition for very high quality work, be a team player, it's setting all that in motion. Being creative is really finding creative ways to do maybe the same thing as other people do, but putting your spin and your spark on it. Yeah, because it will lead. It will lead to success and victory. Um, and then you got life experience. So using what you've learned, what you've done in the past... For using your life experience for creating what you did, and they want this to come out. Yeah. You got three major arcanas. Okay? Already, 11 3. Um, using your life experience, releasing the things that haven't worked in the past. Maybe it's ways of thinking, ways of doing things that you've done in the past. Finding what worked and what didn't, right? Only taking that with you and remembering there's no mistakes. 1125, you can do this. Eight of Swords, right? You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation, not seeing things clearly. Sitting down with pen and paper and writing it out. Writing it out. Seeing... something about journaling and writing, writing it down, doing pros and cons, um, by writing things down and brainstorming, by brainstorming things, yeah, you'll be well on your way. Career advancement, determination, write it down, see what works, things will click. Things will click the more you write it out. That's way too many, you guys. What can... Um, You have what it takes to make your dreams come true. I saw one, two, three, four, right? I keep hearing, I'm on my way. Like, you're well on your way to creating that. You guys are so, what I'm getting is you're so close. You're so close. You're right, almost right at the finish line, right? And they keep showing me this. Keep going. All right, 13, pile two. We've got to start at 1304. Pile two. 1313, I saw it. So you chose the dragon. And as I was shuffling these, another card came out in its transformation. Okay? And on the bottom of the deck... You have all your needs are met. So I'm curious to see what these cards are going to be. The Hermit. And let your soul be your guide. How perfect is that? So you've got the Hermit. Let the soul be your guide. Transformation. And all your needs are met. Wow. This is going to be a powerful reading. Let's do the bell to clear out the energy from the floor. Very well. The difference. Yeah. All right. So they're wanting me to get from this deck the um, card, the pile, or whatever of one. The first one, the quartz chakra pendant, um, we did, we started off with something different. Look at that. Right? So you got the hermit. Let your soul be your guide. All your needs are met in transformation. What's this transformation? What information do we have? Thank you. 
page of wands. See, and the, the hermit, the page of wands, see, you both have a staff, a staff, right? You're letting your soul be your guide. You've gone through all of this transformation, and now, this is almost like a continuation of number one. Yeah. Stand up for what you believe in. Let's let's see. So you've got the page of wands and the hermit. Facing one another. Right? You went from a page to the hermit to the master, right? To Gandalf or something, you know. <laughs> That's part of your transformation. Now your soul is your guide. So this is for somebody who's already been good. So, you know what? I would maybe watch one as well. We have the seven. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. Yes, this is tied into one. So, if you chose um, two, check out one. Because this seven reminds me of what we were talking about in there. So, it's the, uh, you know, the need to make a decision. You know, right, I, in that message, it was, you know, write everything down, and, you know, and see. This is doing the same thing. Writing it down and being clear on what you want. What is it you're wanting to create? What's the best um, form of action to take? What can you do? What's the first step? First step is making a clear decision, writing that down and having intention. Thank you. We had two other cards flip out too. Um, let's see what they have to say. They kind of landed like they wanted to be in reverse. Yeah, we're going to keep them in reverse. And, and the reason, and I usually don't do that. And the reason why is because I was getting this time to take action. Maybe right now it's time for quiet contemplation. Um, for really getting a plan. And sticking to that instead of being, you know, uh, they're showing me like all up in your head, right? But that's not the card I was being shown. I was being shown like that illusion one. Making a detailed plan, it's like choosing your battles wisely. Waiting for that spiritual growth and that insight, right? In that quiet comp contemplation, right, during the transformation, during your hermit phase, really this time, really allowing your soul to be your guide and really taking that into consideration. The way you've done it in the past might not necessarily be the way to do it now, right? Things are different. Now you're learning and you're growing more. Yeah. Stay determined and move forward, right? planting those seeds. You've planted seeds, but now it's time to really water them and really figure out what do I need to do to nurture them? Um, you know, what kind of plant food or, or, you know, what kind of whatever, right? Really nurturing, really getting a clear, concise vision. Let's do these. I really think this message is done. It's really not. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, looking at things in a different way. So these two, if you chose two, you need to pick one. And anyone who chose pile one should two is a continuation. So yeah. 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 So in doing so, in sitting and having your awakening and sitting in your hermit mo hermit mode, right? Doing all that is really 
gonna send you and I'm on my way right new partnerships moving forward partnership with yourself really having that clear it's so important about this clear vision they keep talking about falling in love with what you do a partnership coming in right things will take off you're lit up completing that phase moving into the new one I mean this is fabulous that concludes number two. So just stay focused. Uh, they want me, yeah, stay focused. Waiting for that powerful psychic insights. Letting your soul be your guide. Thank you. Hi, welcome number three. If you chose the rose quartz pendant. 2053, this one's starting. So you had a card flip that was get grounded. We haven't looked at the other two cards yet. At the bottom of the Rider weight, <clears throat> you got the Ten of Wands. I wanted to say Swords, so you're in your head. That's why you can't see clearly. Get grounded. All right, let's see what this card is. And on the bottom of this one, Kingdom Spouse. So that's interesting. Let's see what your Seven of Swords. I heard all up in your head. Ooh. Victor or victim came out with that. Ooh, that kind of fits perfect, doesn't it? Get grounded. I've heard with this, I heard... What did I hear? Bring it back to me. Not seeing, not seeing clearly, but that wasn't it. Not being able to see past these illusions, these illusions coming up. So I'm wanting to, we're going to start with the angel tarot. Yeah, you got page of air, challenging information, right? But you have victory. Maybe some news, things you don't want to hear, something you don't want to see, something you don't want to look at. What is this victor or victim? Seeing your life from a different perspective, right? Get grounded. Get grounded. Um, really uncovering what it is you don't see. There's another seven. So what about the seven of swords? What is that? Oh, let's clear the energy from the other one. And we're just going to... Kingdom spouse. Um, maybe some of you are just split up. You thought that this person was... What does this have to do with anybody? I don't know. This has to do with you. There's something you have to let go of. Ooh. So, ooh, yeah. So those of you who picked three, you're in your head. You're in your head. You're thinking things are being done to you. You're in victim mode. Things you're not seeing. You need to ground that out and really look at the situation for what it is. So, this card came out sideways, right? And it actually landed on the other two. This is what you've been waiting for and let your soul be your guide from the other two. And this is eight of water, a desire to move on. The search for something more meaningful, spiritual and emotional growth. You're right on the cusp. You're right on the cusp, right? You're right on the cusp. You're realizing, or you need to realize, because you're not there yet. You're too much in your head. Yeah. You can't figure it. You're too much in your head. Oh, wow. You're too much in your head. Too much going on, right? Conflict with others. And, and let's take the others out of it. Conflict within yourself. You want to move forward. You have this desire to move on, but you're not. You're not seeing things clearly. That's all I keep. That's all I keep hearing. With you're not seeing things clearly, right? So the other card that you got was expecting the worst, self fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. You've tried so many times. Not third times a charm, right? It's like the eighth time, the ninth times a charm. Just keep going. Time to meditate. 
time to get grounded. Time to really think about what it is you want, what it is you want to create, what it is you're working towards. And having a clear, just like, um, I don't know if it was one or two, I don't know. A clear, concise vision and holding that vision. Because you're right on the cusp of getting what you want. It's just sitting down. Yeah. Yeah, that fits perfect. The com complex decision. Let's go into these. Yeah. Finding solutions. The star of your own show. You know? Just sitting down, getting grounded, and getting out of, yep, just like one, getting out a piece of paper and writing down what it is you want. What you've been waiting for is trying to come to you. What you've been manifesting, what you've been planting seeds is trying to come to you. Solutions is there. We're going to keep it. Success that comes from objective compromise, self-control, and patience. Forgiving and healing energy. Forgiving yourself, allowing yourself to continue letting all that go. Whatever didn't work in the past. Wow, these fell out. Yeah. You're on the... This is, I heard, right around the corner. You're right there. You have an idea. You just don't know how to get there. You just don't know how to get there. That's a great card. Two paths. Making that decision. What's your choice going to be? Sitting down. Getting grounded. Grounding in your energy. Going, reviewing what worked in the past and what didn't. Stand up for what you, we're not going to keep it. Standing up for what you believe in. Within yourself. It's, with all of these, I've just been getting, yeah, they wanted this to come out, right? Need to make a decision. Looking at things from every aspect. Every possible way. Yeah. You just need to make a decision because what you don't realize, there's so many things to do. Look, you've got the Ace of Michael now. And you got the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You're just, you're right on the cusp of that. It's right there in reach. Let your inner soul be your guide. Let your side be your, let your side be your goal. Let your soul be your guide. You know, pile two got the hermit. You might want to watch one, two, and three. I think this is just going to end up being collective, but we're going to leave it like this. So you decide on which one you want to listen to first, right? There's some releasing to do to get your ten of, ten of Pentacles. It's right around the corner. Being your own best friend. Dropping, I heard, dropping all the burdens and taking, dropping all the burdens and taking that leap of faith. Taking a chance on yourself. That's what it boils down to. Taking a chance on yourself. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. Um, and that's it. I don't know. This felt awfully strange to me, and it didn't really seem... I don't know. We'll see. This is something new for me. It came out, and I don't know how great I did. But, you know, hopefully you got what you needed out of this. And so, I love you guys. Have a very blessed day. Namaste.